Bro, it's 55 days until we launch, bro. Like, I started this at 94 days, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I started counting down at 94 days. It's already 54 days. How many days is that? 40 something? Yeah, yeah, like that's like to, to, uh, tomorrow will be like forty days. I've been doing, I've been doing, I've been doing a video talking about it every single day. So yeah, like every single day, like so something, <laughs> right, right, something, something every single day, right, exactly. Every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Real talk. Not knowing that maybe God put us through these things for a, a specific reason. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like for for a, 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 a specific reason. And a lot of times you may like we may like yo damn that's it all about me. But when you take yourself out of that shit and don't be arrogant and be like, yo, this possibly, this journey could possibly help somebody else and, and take a and take a pivot or whatever, like that's when things might be opening up. Because like like shit, I like you telling me some shit about Facebook, you made money on Facebook, but guess what? Like, damn, how you know how did how, you know how you did that? You feel what I'm saying? Like what you doing is, and you don't even realize that you're doing it, you being resourceful because you have to be resourceful. You understand what I'm saying? And and, and you know what I mean? Like in the whole in, in the whole journey, now say you would just like you went into that shit right from the beginning. Like, yo, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going by, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna go through this journey, I'm just gonna enjoy this journey. Okay, I I, I don't got I, I don't I don't have what I had. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just going to just, just try to make myself, you know what I mean? Obviously, I'm doing something that's not working. So, therefore, I'm about to just take myself and try to fix it and figure out the shit as I go along and just enjoy the shit as I, as I go, right? But we got to take ourselves out of that shit and be like, yo, um, shit, maybe this shit ain't about me. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Maybe this shit ain't about me. You you know you know what I'm saying? And I'm still like I, I like I, I got I, I got like I'm not completely there yet because I'm still like yo I want to play I want to play you know what I'm saying? Like I still I still want to play. However, when I do get a chance, you know what I'm saying? When I do get a chance to be like you know like I'm kind of weeding myself off that shit. You know what I mean? Like bro, if I could play, if I could play two or three games, if I could just say yo I did that shit, my career is over with as far as playing. Now I can put. 1,000% into helping others, you know what I'm saying, with this platform and tell their story and shit like that. But at least, you know what I'm saying, I was able to document this this last little part to say, yo, this is my vision on how it's supposed to look. Now you can do this shit when you in seventh, sixth grade, all the way till you get to here, and all of that shit is gonna be in one place. What's going on, guys? Today is Saturday. September 7th, 2024. It is 11.39 a.m. And we have 55 days before we launch the All Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. My energy is higher. And man, sometimes that's what it takes. You have to rest, you know, sometimes you have to rest. So last night after I went to dinner, I did not watch the game. I came home and I rested, you know, I just rested. And today I feel like my energy is up. I'm back, like for real, because all week my energy was just down. And I think it always happens like in between days, right? So, <laughs> so in between like a, a 56, 57, 58 days on this countdown, my energy goes down. 55, it's up, right? 54 is gonna be up. 53, 52, down, back to 50, 
You know what I'm saying? Now it's up again, right? Uh, but look, I I need a rest. You know, I need a rest, so I feel a lot better. Uh, I was just talking to one of my homeboys. You know, I was talking to one of my homeboys and, and talking about like opportunity when it's an adverse time. And odd enough, odd enough, as I'm talking to him. I say, yo, remember, I gave you that, that book that I wrote. You know, and I wrote this book, and it's called Finding Opportunity in Adversity, right? Because it's always going to be some type of adverse time that we're going through. You know, it's going to be some type of adversity, no matter what, even when it's a good time. But a lot of times we just don't find that opportunity in that adverse time, you know, um, and I'll speak on, on myself, right? It's been so many times where, man, it's been an adverse, it's been an adverse time. I've been going through a lot of adversity, but at that, at the same time, it's been a lot of opportunity within that adversity, right? And I had to either find it or I just didn't find it. I just like, this shit sucks. And don't even look and see, hmm, this shit sucks, but it's opportunity here. And that's kind of like why I wrote this book or whatever, because I had to go through my complete life to see when did I go through adversity and then take opportunity out of that adversity and when did I just soak in adversity? When it might have been an opportunity that I could have took when it was an adverse time. And I had to comb through my entire life. And that's when I that's how I wrote this book. And I found a lot of times where I did find opportunity in adversity and when I didn't. So always be seeking opportunity always look for opportunity because it's there and it might be there in the smallest way but remember the smallest things always lead to bigger things it's just how it is it's just how it is man the last week i promise you i have not wanted to get in front of this camera and say anything but then when I just look at my catalog from when I got here in July all the way until now, it's like, yo, I've either did one video, two videos, or maybe three videos. And this is like probably the 80th video that I've done since I've been here. And to have that, and I say, yo, man, what did I want to do? As soon as I stop, it just messes up everything. I can't stop even when it's adversity, when I don't want to do it. And having that in this long run of documentation, I think will benefit in the, you know, it, it, it will benefit compounded rather than if I said, all right, let me make the dopest video with the dopest edits with the dopest B-roll. This is raw, candid, my real thoughts of, you know, what's happening in this journey of building a startup. Like, I could go get B-roll for you. I could do dope edits. I could do flashy things, but I'd rather just give you an unedited version of me at the time that I come to you every day. So, man, if you're doing something and you're going through adversity, try to find some type of opportunity in that adversity, okay? Saturday, guys. And another thing, like, yo, when I got here to the office, right, I know that my spirits and my energy was higher because I got in front of the computer and did some work. <laughs> like, just, you know, not that I don't do work, but like, I may go to YouTube, I may do this, I may look at my phone, but today I opened that shit up 
and I got right into it, right? So I know that I'm feeling better. I know that I'm feeling better. All right, guys, man, have a great day. Uh, if I do document, I don't, I don't think it's anything special going on today. If I do do something that I feel that needs to be documented when I leave, I'll document it. And um, peace. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.